They're choosing to be here to campaign for their right to choose, specifically what they do with their bodies. They say their choice whether to have an abortion or not is governed by an archaic law created more than 160 years ago that this week led to a mother of three being jailed. We need to be able to decide for ourselves whether or not we have a baby. Every child needs to be wanted. People think that we've got a lot more rights here than we actually do. Carla Foster took drugs to induce an abortion when she was over 32 weeks pregnant. Is there any part of you that is torn or you very staunchly... I, I, I think everyone is, appreciates that it's a very difficult situation, but I think the point of today is to say that whatever that choice was, it wasn't a crime. Publicly and privately, some disagree. Wickedness, absolute wickedness. Dr Pam Lowe has been studying those who oppose abortion for over seven years and says this case divides opinion among them. For the anti-abortion activists, it's a tricky case to campaign over. They have been actively trying to prevent decriminalisation and are supportive of the current law, but they do not like talking about women being sent to prison. So there's a lot of tension in the anti-abortion response to this sort of case. It's a case that wouldn't have happened in Northern Ireland. Feeding into this frustration is that here in England and in Scotland and Wales, abortion is legal up to 24 weeks. But over in Northern Ireland, in certain limited circumstances, that limit can be exceeded. It's also been decriminalised there completely. It means women can't be charged for an abortion at any stage of the pregnancy. It simply cannot be the case in the 21st century that, that women are being sent to prison for ending a pregnancy. That isn't the right response. And that was the decision politicians made when they looked at the situation in Northern Ireland. They responded to recommendations from the UN. We'd like to see the same here. The Ministry of Justice says any change to that legislation would be a matter of conscience for individual MPs rather than the government. And so the battle lines of one of society's most emotive issues are blurrier than ever. Ashna Haranag, Sky News.